Okay, this is my tool and cutter grinder that I've been uh, working on for the past uh, several weeks, make some modifications to. Here you can see an overall view of, uh, of the grinder sitting here on this table. This isn't where it normally sits, but I thought it would be good for a video. Let me just show you some of the um, <clears throat> overall motions of the table. This is the x-axis uh, movement. Uh, this spins left to right, lets you move the table back and forth uh, laterally across the stone. Uh, it runs on a 20-pitch uh, rack and pinion gear. Uh, there's a rack uh, fastened to the underneath side of the table, and then, of course, a gear on the end of the crank. The other uh, motion would be uh, the y-axis. Uh, it's hooked up uh, through a uh, tying belt uh, so that the crank is off to the right out of the way of the uh, x-axis handle. This lets me move the uh, table back and forth. It's a uh, <clears throat> right hand thread, 3 8 inch fine thread uh, lead screw on that. So I get a fairly fine feed uh, with that. The other uh, <clears throat> quickly changeable parameter is the uh, height of the motor uh, by loosening this lever here. I can then just uh, crank the motor down or crank it up uh, to get whatever height I need. Um, this lets me use different size grindstones and uh, accommodates different angles and so forth on the... Uh... Down on the side of the motor over here on the right you can see a switch. Uh, it's a three position. Uh, it's currently it's in the off position. Uh, moving it forward causes it to rotate this way and putting it back makes it rotate that way. Um, once I have the switch on, uh, then I can use my Variac to uh, uh, <clears throat> get back to that. I can use the Variac back here to uh, turn the motor on and to vary the speed. Right now it's zero, but as I crank it up, you see it starts up and uh, I can spin it up to whatever speed I want. Uh, I've got this stop right here because that's the maximum safe speed for a lot of my stones. Uh, it's about 3200 RPM. You can see it runs quietly, uh, not much vibration. Um, I think it's excellent for a uh, tool and cutter grinder. Over here beside the uh, grinder you can see some of the grinding wheels that this will accommodate. Uh, first of all, I have this plate, which uh, on the one side will accommodate an inch and a quarter uh, hole. I use that for this uh, metal-backed grinding wheel right here. On the other side, I have a one-inch spindle, uh, which lets me use uh, uh, grindstones like this, which has a one-inch hole in the center. This would be used uh, typically on the edge for sharpening uh, uh, end mill flutes and so forth. Uh, on there is a 5-inch cup wheel, uh, and of course there's a smaller 3-inch cup wheel. Then over here I have a, uh, another uh, cup wheel, which is a um, green silicon carbide uh, wheel that I can use to uh, cut uh, tungsten carbide with and other really hard materials. I can put just about any kind of a grindstone on there I want, and with the different speeds, it, um, of course, lets me uh, accommodate the, the uh, maximum rated speed on various size stones. So, that's about it.